data from daily life context. Hey, Bubbly, what are you doing in the garden? Bunty, Mummy has prepared this table and given it to me. There are different flowers in the garden. I am counting the blossomed flowers to find out flowers that have blossomed. Why? Data. I mean to collect the data. Hey, but the data about all the blossomed flowers is already filled in this table. That's why you don't need to count the flowers one by one in the garden. Why? Because whatever details that are already filled in this table about the flowers, you just need to understand those data. How is that? Come on, let me teach you. Today, in this video, we will learn to interpret data from the table. Look, there are different flowers in this garden. How many flowers have blossomed? That data has been collected and filled in the table. That's why it has been written on the top of the table the number of blossomed flowers in the garden. There are two columns in the table. In the first column, the blossom flowers in the garden are written. Come on, read those. The names of the flowers are marigold flower, rose flower and champa flower. From this data, we can know that three types of flowers have blossomed in the garden. Yes, first is marigold flower, second rose flower and third is champa flower. Hmm, come on, now read the second column. What is the number of flowers? The number of marigold flowers is 6. The number of rose flowers is 4. And the number of champa flowers is 9. Yes, the data collected about the number of blossom flowers in the garden has been shown in this table. Yes. This is very interesting. And now I will not have to count the flowers one by one. After understanding the table, I have understood which and how many flowers have blossomed in the garden. What have you understood? I understood that there are three kinds of flowers, marigold, rose and champa that have blossomed in the garden. And there are six marigold flowers, four rose flowers and nine champa flowers that have blossomed in the garden. Thank you, Bunty. You have really explained the data in the table very well. Yes, yes. Okay. Now show me the second table which Mummy has given to you. Here it is. Hey! There are only pictures of fruits in this table. The number of fruits are not written. So what will you do now? I will go to the kitchen now and count the number of fruits and come back. Hey, stop. You do not have to go anywhere. Why? Come on, all the data has been shown in this table. How is that? Look. Which pictures are there in the column of fruits in the table? There are pictures of apple, pineapple, pomegranate and orange. Now have you understood that the data given is about which fruits? Yes, but how will I know the number of fruits without counting them? It is easy. How many pictures of apples are given in this table? There are five pictures of apples. Yes, so we have to write the number of apples, five, in the column of number of fruits. 
Similarly, there is one picture of pineapple. So we have to write the number of pineapples one in the column of number of fruits. There are three pictures of pomegranate. So we have to write the number of pomegranates three in the column of number of fruits. There are four pictures of oranges. So we have to write the number of oranges four in the column of number of fruits. Absolutely right, Bubbly. Now you will be able to interpret the data given in the table, won't you? Yes. It is very easy to interpret the data given in the table. Thank you, Bunty. Friends, in this video, you learned to interpret data from the table. In the next video, you will learn to interpret data from the table by using some examples. Children, in this video, we will learn how to interpret data from the table using interesting examples. I know how to fill the table. Now I will try to interpret data from the table. The data about utensils we have is given in this table. Hmm, the data about names of the utensils is given in the first column and the data about the number of utensils is given in the second column of the table. Names of utensils, bowl, dish, glass and spoon are written here. So the data about four kinds of utensils is given. Here the number of bowls is 6. The number of dishes are 5. The number of glasses are 6. And the number of spoons are 9. Hmm. I have interpreted the data about the number of utensils from this table. Now let's see the second example. Come on. Now I will fill this table by counting how many and which color plastic flowers are there in this flower vase. Pink flowers. One, two. Hey Bubbly, you don't need to count these flowers. Look, I have filled the data about the flowers which are in the flower vase. Thank you Bunty. I will interpret the data from this table. Okay. So tell me, how many colored flowers are there in the flower vase? The table has data about flowers of four colors. Which colored flowers are there in the flower vase? There are yellow, pink, saffron and red colored flowers in the flower vase. Which color flower is only one in the flower vase? Mm, yellow and red colored flowers are one each. How many pink colored flowers are there? There are two pink colored flowers. Well done, Bubbly. Thank you. So children, in this video we learn how to interpret data from the table using interesting examples. In the next video, we will learn some interesting facts related to interpreting data from the table. Friends, today in this video, we will learn some interesting facts related to interpreting data from the table. Yes, Bubbly, tell me, 
What do you want to ask? Look, I have prepared this table. What type of table? I have filled this table by counting the number of letters in my friends' names. Oh, Bubbly, you know very well how to collect data and fill it in the table and also how to interpret data from the table. Then how come you made a mistake in filling this table? Mistake in filling the table? Yes, look. You have to write the number of letters of the friends' names in this table. Yes, that's what I have done. Yes, but when you are counting the number of letters in any name, then you have to count all the letters even if they are repeated. And how is that? Look, Bubbly, here the first name is Ria, which is made from four letters. And you have written the number four only. Yes, and the second name is Nirav, which is made from five letters. Bubbly, your table is okay till here. Now the third name is Munmun. There are not three, but six letters in it. How is that? Yes, you counted M, U and N in Mun Mun. So you wrote three letters, but these three letters come two times. So that is a total of six letters. Oh yes, I have to count all the letters that come in the name of Mun Mun. No matter how many times they come. So here the number of letters will be six. Now tell me how many letters are there in the name Bulbul? There are total of six letters, not three. Well done, Bubbly. Thank you. So friends, today in this video, we learned some interesting facts related to interpreting data from the table. Friends, you learned many facts related to mathematics from these videos. I hope you had a lot of fun. Collect and represent data. Hey, Bubbly, what are you doing? Bunty, I have 10 marbles. I am trying to find out how many marbles of each color are there. Come on, let me teach you an easy way to find that. Teach me. Today, in this video, we will learn about collecting data and representing it in a table. Bubbly, first of all, you have to make group of same colored marbles. First group of red colored marbles, second group of yellow colored marbles and third group of green colored marbles. Well done. Now create a table like this. Then, now you have to write the names of the colors red yellow and green in the column color of marbles. What do we have to do next? Now we have to count the number of marbles in each group. There are one, two and three red marbles in the first group. One and two, two yellow marbles in the second group and one, two, three, four and five green marbles in the third group. Now we have to write these numbers in the table. Yes, now in the column count of marbles 
we will write three beside red color, two beside yellow color, and five beside green color. Well done, Bubbly. You represented the data very well. Data? What is that? Making groups of similar objects, counting the number of objects in the group, and filling that information in a table is called data. Bunty, this way I can easily know how many erasers. Pencils, sharpeners, and scales. Do I have? Yes. Let me teach you one more way to collect the data and fill it in the table. Definitely. Firstly, you have to group the given objects whose data you wish to collect. I have seven pencils, five erasers, four sharpeners, and two scales. Now you have to create a table for the same. Okay, I have made this table. I wrote the names of the objects in the first column and count of objects in the second column. Now write which objects are there in the column names of the objects. In the column names of the objects, I wrote pencil, eraser, sharpener, and scale. And now, now in the column count of objects, you have to draw as many triangles, squares, or circles as the number of objects. So we will draw triangles to fill the table. Okay, you have seven pencils. So you have to draw seven triangles in the column count of objects. I have five erasers, so I have to draw five triangles. I have four sharpeners, so I have to draw four triangles, and I have two scales, so I have to draw two triangles. Absolutely right. Well done, Bubbly. Oh wow! It is very interesting. Friends, in this video you learned about collecting data and representing them in a table. In the next video, we will see some more examples of collecting data and representing them in a table. Children, in this video, we will see some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing them in a table. Panti taught me how to represent data in a table after collecting it. I can easily find out how many types and the counts of the hairpins I have with the help of a table. So first of all, I will make groups of similar hairpins. First group of cloth hairpins. Second group of diamond studded hairpins. Third group of hairpins with roses and leaves. And fourth group of hairpins with beads. Now I will count the hairpins in each group. I have six hairpins made of cloth, three diamond studded hairpins, four hairpins with roses and leaves, and one big hairpin with beads. Now I will represent all the data by making a table like this. The number of cloth hairpins is six, the number of diamond studded hairpins is three, the number of hairpins with roses and leaves is four, and the hairpin with beads is one. Wow, I'm having fun. Come on, now let me find out how many chocolates of which shapes do I have. So first of all, I will group chocolates 
based on their shapes. First of all, group of circle shaped chocolates. Second group is star shaped chocolates. And the third group is of heart shaped chocolates. Now I will count the chocolates in each group. In the first group, five circle shaped chocolates. In the second group, four star shaped chocolates. And in the third group, there are three heart shaped chocolates. Now I will represent all this data by making a table like this. The number of circle shaped chocolates is 5. The number of star shaped chocolate is 4. And the number of heart shaped chocolate is 3. Wow! By collecting data like this, I can remember so much information easily. Children, today in this video we saw some interesting examples of collecting data and representing it in a table. In the next video we will see some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing them in a table. Children, in this video we will see some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing them in a table. Hey Bubbly, what are you doing? You had taught me how to collect data and represent it in a table. So I am using that method to collect data on how many objects I have and representing it in the form of a table. Show me. Oh wow, you are doing great. But you did not use the second method that I taught you. Yes, now I will collect data about some more objects and represent it in a different way in the table. I will draw pictures of the objects that I have. Okay, you do your work and I will go now. Okay. So, as we all know that summer season is nearing. So, I will collect data about the number of caps, the number of goggles and the number of umbrellas and number of hats that I have. So, first of all, I will make groups of similar objects. First group of caps. Second group of goggles. Third group of umbrellas. And the fourth group of hats. Now I will count the objects in each group. I have four caps, three goggles, one umbrella and four hats. Now I will create a table like this and represent all the data in it. There are four caps in the table. So, I will draw four caps. There are three goggles. So, I will draw three goggles. Then there is one umbrella. So, I will draw a picture of an umbrella. And there are four hats. So, I will draw four hats. Oh, wow! It looks good. Hmm. My birthday is approaching now. So, I will collect data about the types and how many balloons I have so I can gift them to all my friends who will be coming to my birthday party. So first of all, I will make groups of similar animal shaped balloons. First group of dog shaped balloons. Second group of snake shaped balloons. Third group of bear shaped balloons. Fourth group of camel shaped balloons. And fifth group of monkey shaped balloons. Now I will count the animals in each group. 
There are five dog shaped balloons in first group, one snake shaped balloon in the second group, two bear shaped balloons in the third group, three camel shaped balloons in the fourth group, and one monkey shaped balloon in the fifth group. Now I will make a table like this and represent all the data in it. There are five dogs, so five circles. One snake, so one circle. Two bears are there, so two circles. Three camels are there, so three circles. And one monkey, so one circle. Wow! By representing data like this, I can easily remember so much information. Children, in this video today we saw some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing it in a table. In the next video, we will learn how to interpret data from the given table.